what's up people welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be walking you through how to format your c panel now i'm going to be doing this from directly from my c panel so let's just go through probably you might have been having issues with your c panel or you your sites actually having several issues and you want it to be formatted and you want your c panel to be formatted probably you don't really have past or access to your hosting platform you just want to format the cpanel directly from cpanel so i'm going to be showing you how to go about it so what you're going to be doing just head over to first thing you're going to head over to your email to my your file manager and then once you're on your, on your file manager what you're going to be doing you're going to just come over here and click on select all so once you've select all your next thing you're going to do is just to hit on delete so you're going to click on delete and ensure you delete so now it is actually deleted so now once you've deleted this what you're going to now do is to click hit on where you can see when i reload it's empty you can see sometimes you might see in the trash and dot uh, just ignore it once you delete and you're still seeing those particular once you can just ignore it just come over and click on upload just click on the upload and it will open this and so what you're going to i'm going to just select the file so i'm going to just select the file i'm going to be using so just select now this is, i'll be dropping the link to download this particular file on the in the description box below so you can just check the link and download the cpanel file here yeah. so after you've uploaded this you're going to just click on this and it's going to take you here you can see this is the only file the file here so just ignore this term is as is cpanel actually uses it uses that so i'm going to extract this so where are you extracting it so you just do add this slash forward slash and click on extract once you've done the click on extract you can see you can reload and you can see all your cpanel files are the cpanel file has been extracted so just double click and here once it open, double clicks and it's open just know everything is now okay on your file manager so you can just click on this and delete you can just delete this because it's no longer needed so you can just delete this so once you've done this you now what the next thing you're going to be doing is to head over to back to us main c panel so we are going to what we are going to be doing you are going to go to where all your databases you're going to delete your databases you you delete all your database and the database user so just come here over here start deleting them one after the other once you delete there you also delete this also same thing with your emails you go just delete your emails and come over to here go to your emails email accounts and if you have any email accounts there you can just delete all of them and just click on manage once you click on manage you can delete any one you don't want to so that is how you go about it so you just delete once everything is your c panel should be working the way you want it to actually be so you can now start installing all your website you want to install on your c panels so i believe this particular video must have been helpful and have helped to actually help you to reset your c panel so if you're still watching this video and if you know you consider subscribing to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified each time i upload new video or content like this so until next time this is where i'm going to stop bye for now